problem. You were saying noise. Noise is a problem. I can't hear what you're saying. I'm asking you about the noise. I can't hear what you're saying. Now? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now the machine's quite okay. down, yeah. Okay. We were asking you about noise. The noise is terrible. Every day. Every single day I'm being woken up from just after six. I've complained several times and I've overridden now and complained to the council. The council have sent me a letter confirming that they've been on the site and seen them working prior to their working hours. Uh, I also have it late at night. I have to go out every day just for peace of mind and quietness. Uh, it becomes a strain every day. They've moved the fence over and left a great big post in the way, didn't tell me. I walked into it, smashed my glasses, got a scar on my face. You're partially sighted, is that right? I've only got just some 20% of right. my night. And, uh, and they didn't let me know anything about moving it. Mm -hmm. They said before the meeting they would pay for my glasses and any damage I had clothes wise and things like that. Straight after the public meeting, they bluntly refused to pay me anything, any compensation at all. Suicidal doesn't even hit it, you know, if I'll, it's just been an absolute nightmare. Yeah, no, I am suicidal, I've never been so depressed in all my life. I really have, you just feel that you've got no privacy. You know, it's just really affected me. You just feel like you've been ignored. You know, Amex don't care about you as a person, they really don't. Yeah, I've just felt really down. I've had enough, I don't want to come home. I go to work, I don't want to come home and listen to the banging and the shouting of the men. Dramatic effects uh, since the building has been um, built. Um, the noise, um, the dust, um, the impact it's had on um, my health and that of, um, of my two children. On a daily basis, I rail with my children because my daughter's 17. She doesn't want to walk out to the builders no more than I do. I know it's only their job, but we walked in two minutes ago. Hi, you're sexy. She doesn't want it. You know, mm. it's our home. She doesn't want it. It's ru it is rude. Mm. My son Harrison has a um, a hole in his heart and uh, with the dust it aggravates his um, condition. It is sexist, you know, but I don't want it. You know, they're looking at you even, walking down, you know, you've got to walk past 20 men, you know, they're standing there looking, it's intimidating. I could start crying because I am stuck with this place now, you know. You've just had your freedom taken away. I used to just only take one inhaler a day, which was a um, reliever. I'm now on three a day. Um, I've got a preventer that I have to take morning and evening and I've got one that's a stabiliser and I've also got obviously the uh, reliever. Um, these I never used to have to have before the building site um, went up uh, and this is a, um, um, a knock on effect from the dust um, that we have coming into our home quite a bit. Even with the windows closed, we're getting a lot of dust um, from the site with the grinding and, and, and so on and the chalk dust. Um, the noise at times is um, quite unbearable. I have to actually go to sleep wearing ear defenders to drown out the, the noise from the actual building site across the road. And uh, it's quite, even with the ear defenders on, I can still hear the drone financially, um, in the sense that um, with my employer, I've had to uh, stop doing night shifts. Um, uh, so I can only do earlies and late shifts, which is a, a loss of £700 per year. I feel let down by the, by the whole system, the whole system. Is it has let us down? It is. It hasn't. It hasn't considered. Um, it hasn't considered environmentally as well as socially what it's what it's done to the area, what it's doing to the area. It's like an invasion of you know our whole our whole community. Never mind all the vehicles. Never mind the vehicles that get lost because they can't see the signs and they come up and then they have to pull pull back and um, back out of the area. There's 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 all that unnecessary noise and pollution along with what this invasion has brought into our lives. So, MX ruined basically the Carlton Hill area in this area, Turner areas, people's life, their life and liberty. And in my reg regular work in this walking when i'm walking i see everybody's face is very very sad face so this noise pollution everything has been
destroyed their private life and they violated the human rights article 8. Their financially has been damaged and their private life has been damaged. American Express development actually has affected my life greatly. Um, for one, I'm a, I'm a tenant and it looks straight on to me. I'm at the top of the curve. Um, always been able to see the sea and been able to see the pier, which was absolutely beautiful. That no longer exists. I live in another one just up the hill, which last year we were unable to sell because of the blight that this construction has brought upon the area. In all the years I've been here, I came when it was a new build. I've had great delight in this flat. I've kept my curtains open day and night. And um, that no longer exists. I have to close them because I've got no privacy. I used to lay in my bed every night, be able to watch the stars. It was lovely. Windows open, that doesn't exist anymore. Noise, dust, um, lorries, uh, disturbance of peace and any means of quiet environment of your property being amongst them. What I find really hard to believe is something this size. Um, as you can see, it's not screened at all. It's, the noise from it is entering all our households. Um, you've got things like percussive hammer drills, sawing, banging, People dropping things in skips, operatives shouting, and we're not screened from any of this. I think everybody's to blame. The council for allowing them, American Express for being so greedy and filling in the land like this, and um, McAlpine's for not adhering to standard noise mitigation procedures. And they're all making our life hell because of it. The Amex site, first thing in the morning, wakes, wakes me up. As soon as, I'm, as soon as I'm out of bed, I look, up, look out, and there's, there's guys walking up the road, all chit-chatting and shouting. Uh, then, shortly after, all the um, noise starts, with the mechanical diggers, saws, banging, hammering, metal against metal, um, the cranes buzzing, all sorts of things like that. And um, it has an effect on your life. It gradually, gradually, slowly builds up and, and starts depressing you. And you can't do nothing about it. You can't have your windows open. Um, I have a, a postage stamp garden here, but it didn't really matter because I had a, a view to the sea and that view has been taken away from me. Well, I've been to the council and then um, all they could do was send me off to um, the Amex people for whom they gave me the name and the number and everything and then I'd phone them and then they'd send me, say it was the council and I sort of yo-yoed back and forward. They call themselves considerate constructors but that is the first and the biggest lie, they are inconsiderate constructors. <laughs> And this is quite a quiet morning. 